right now when it comes to Sonic Boom uh, Overland Flight, it's based on just a speed. Right now it is for civil aircraft, thou shalt not go over Mach 1. Uh, what we want to do is we want to change that regulation and base it on the noise and not on just an arbitrary speed. So the Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Project's goal is to design, develop, and test a vehicle that has a low noise sonic boom signature. The new sonic boom from the LBFD airplane, or X-59A, uh, will sound more like a thump, we're, we're hoping. Uh, your traditional sonic boom typically sounds like two big cracks. But right now we can you know, fly F-18s, get some sonic booms, record them, measure information about the weather, and then use that to build models. We've done bits and pieces of tailoring the boom um, in flight and through the design tools. So this project is actually the culmination of activities like the Quiet Spike project that we had on the F-15 with Gulfstream. We've done tests such as FAINT, where we studied mark cutoff and the extent of the carpet size. It says six decades of sonic boom research. So it's 60 years in the making, really. A shape boom demonstrator, this X-59, is the next logical step. Well, the interesting thing about the X-59 is that it looks really sleek and fast, and it is. And it looks like a fighter, but it's really not. As you've seen, doesn't have a forward field of view. There's no windscreen. So uh, because of that, we'll have an ultra HD camera and an ultra HD screen. And then that's what will be essentially our forward window. You know, there's a big bunch of the field of view that'd be blocked by the nose itself. Well, the FVS camera's on the bottom. So they can actually kind of fill in that whole picture and make it look like I don't have a nose on the airplane at all. But now, you know, we're in the design phase and it's really cool to be in on the ground floor of the design and helping write the requirements and uh, helping when it comes to uh, some of the little design issues. And then uh, three years from now, it's going to be really awesome to get to go fly that. Flight test will start in 2021. We'll do a handful of checkout flights followed by envelope expansion. And then from there on, we'll go into our next phase, which will be what we call validation. That's making sure that the sonic boom is as quiet as we designed it to be. And then we'll go into phase three. And then phase three is uh, uh, community response testing. So that's when we actually take the airplane out across the country, go to different communities, and see how people respond to the noise we're generating. Once we clear the way for a new regulation, then basically aircraft manufacturers can say, hey, if I can build to that regulation, I can go build a whole new class of aircraft that'll get people you know, from point A to point B twice as fast. If we can create an airplane that can perform like that, that can fly supersonic and not bother anyone and not have any problems with it, then that's, you know, that's awesome. I mean, look at X-59, it looks like, uh, you know, like the airplanes that we always saw in the 50s and 60s, the big old pointy airplane. And when you look at it, you're looking and going, hey, this is that future we were promised 30 or 40 years ago. Yeah.